Hi, everybody. Thanks for checking in on your afternoon update. I'm meteorologist Mike Witcher, and we sure hope you're having a great day today. It is Friday. That's got a good ring to it in and of itself. And yesterday was nice with the below average temperatures, but that's short-lived. We're cranking things back up as we head into the weekend and next week. I'll show you a couple of views from our East Tennessee weather cameras around East Tennessee. That was a view earlier today from Gatlinburg. The hustle and bustle of summer season is uh, definitely upon us in uh, Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. If you want to beat the summertime heat, you got to head up to the higher elevations. The higher you go, the cooler it will be. A few clouds hanging out with us earlier today from Union County and Mar Maynardville, Maryville and Blunt County. You can see a couple of clouds hanging out with us. That's about the extent of it. Perfect boating weather on the way, so enjoy that. Use the boat safety, safety, of course, and plenty of sunscreen. And a view from earlier today from the East Tennessee Weather Center. Uh, absolutely gorgeous weather. All right, let's talk about the temperatures because we're going to continue to climb back into the upper 80s to low 90s. So a hot weather pattern starts to pick back up, and that's really going to be the story. That's really been the story so far uh, for the month of June, except for the start of June anyways. And that's going to really be the story as we head into uh, the first couple of weeks of July. Hey, by the way, by 8 o'clock tonight, we're going to see those temperatures in the mid-80s. So still warm, still muggy as the sun goes down tonight. It's Friday night, and many of you know that I do love a Friday night fire pit. However, it's going to be too warm and muggy to have a fire in a fire pit, plus the abnormally dry conditions that continue to develop around East Tennessee. Uh, you're not going to want to have those open fires. Let's just not do that this time of the year. Plus, it's too hot and muggy, like I said, so you're not going to want that anyways. All right, let's walk you through our future cast. We have a southeasterly flow taking shape around that ridge of high pressure. That's going to push moisture up against the mountains of North Carolina and push them into East Tennessee. So we do have about a 20% chance for a stray shower or thunderstorm throughout the day today, but I'm not expecting a whole lot of activity, as you can clearly see with our rainfall forecast. Uh, as we get into the overnight hours, it's going to be a little bit warmer. Saturday morning, we're starting off in the 70s. We're going to see those uh, rain chances ramp up as well, and we're going to climb into the low 90s. Now, we do have an approaching cold front, and that's going to spill in some strong to severe thunderstorms. Greatest risk is across the Tennessee-Kentucky border and points further to the north. So again, today's uh, storms will come out of the southeast on Saturday. They'll come out of the southwest as this cold front approaches the area. So for the first part of our day, we're likely to be on the dry side. So if you want to get out, get some gardening done, run some errands, maybe head off to the lakes, the first part's going to be great. The second part, not necessarily bad, but many of you might have to dodge some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. So keep that in mind if you're heading off to the lakes. And again, the East Tennessee Weather app is going to be a great tool to have on the lakes or at those outdoor events uh, to stay on top of the weather situation, check in with the interactive radar. So not a ton of rain expected, but Sunday into Monday, we're talking about this cold front swinging through. So that's going to produce the chance for, again, another round of some isolated, strong to severe thunderstorms. I'm not anticipating a lot of activity, but we have enough energy in the atmosphere. What we will see is if any of these storms do fire up over the weekend, they will put down some locally heavy rainfall. So uh, not a ton of rain area wide, but locally heavy rainfall could be a possibility. Then back behind that cold front, the dew points will drop and we'll start to see, uh, well, beautiful weather as we get into our Monday. Broad brush in the rainfall forecast. Again, not a ton. Areas of an inch of rain can't be rolled out, uh, but I don't think most of us will see that. Dry air swings in back behind this frontal boundary, and that's going to make for a very nice Monday. So I hope you have a chance to uh, get out and enjoy that uh, as well. When you look at your dew points over the next seven days, dew points are going to continue to drop as we get into our Monday. So elevated dew points uh, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday we're down into the low 60s. That's why Monday is going to feel amazing. And then dew points climb into the 4th of July. So when we uh, factor in dew points and high temperatures, the higher the temperature, the higher the dew point temperature, the higher the heat index, or rather uncomfortable factor that we'll be experiencing. So Saturday's heat index values, just like today, will be in the upper 90s to low 100s. We'll do it again on Sunday. Watch this, though. See the heat index values across the Ohio Valley? There's a frontal boundary swinging through, so we're going to shut that down on Sunday. That swings its way into our area on Monday. So Monday is going to be a fantastic day. But it's short-lived because heat index values start to build on into our Tuesday, Wednesday, 4th of July is going to be incredibly hot. Plus, we'll have a chance for some uh, some of Mother Nature's fireworks, if you will. So you have a chance for some afternoon showers and thunderstorms on the 4th of July. And we'll round out the first week of July with, again, heat index values in the 90s to low 100s. So rain chances will ramp up through our Sunday. We'll shut those down Monday, Tuesday. Then we'll build those back up Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. But broad brushing the idea of rainfall, or rather lack thereof, over the next five to seven days, we could see area-wide about a half an inch of rainfall. Now, of course, if any of these storms do fire up, some of you may get well over that, but it's going to be isolated 
in nature. Take a look at your temperature trend. Average high for this time of year is 88 degrees. We're getting close to the peak heating of summer here in East Tennessee. But the coolest day comes through on Monday, so more seasonable weather there. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the heat is going to work its way back into the area. Low temperatures, the most comfortable morning comes through on Tuesday morning. Monday morning is not bad, but Tuesday is going to be better with low temperatures in the mid-60s with the drier air in place. Then those uh, morning lows could become a little bit more elevated Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, per the Climate Prediction Center, looking ahead for the first two weeks of July, we could be trending above average when we're talking temperatures and the possibility of below average uh, or average to below average uh, precipitation for the first couple weeks of July. As I mentioned, if you're going to be out and about, make sure you download the East Tennessee Weather app. If you've not done so yet, it's 100% free. Listen, it's all the weather that you need to know for East Tennessee. It's clean. It's simple. It's effective. You get push notifications when lightning is nearby. You get push notifications uh, if any storms become strong or severe. You can check in on uh, your daily forecast updates, what you're seeing right now. Or check out your One Minute with Witcher that I do every single morning, seven days a week. It's a great tool to find out exactly what's going on around East Tennessee. So I sure hope you have a great rest of your, of your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Watch out for those thunderstorms. Use some heat safety and try to stay as cool as you can. Another weather update coming up today at 5 and then again at 9 o'clock. We do that Monday through, well, we do that every day. Uh, 6 a.m., noon, 5 p.m., and 9 p.m. are all your weather updates that you can check in with the East Tennessee Weather app. Don't forget to check in online at easttnweather.com. I do a daily blog there as well. And also, don't forget to subscribe to YouTube. I'm on Roku TV as well as Amazon Fire. All right, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you back here soon.